I'm going to just do a like super random post real quick because I wanted to come down and look at the sunset. God, it's gorgeous. Um, just checking it out. Um, anyway, um, what was I going to say to you guys? Oh yeah, I was, I was driving and I saw these people walking by and it was a man and a lady and the man just looked like so angry. And I was wondering like, are they like, did, like they're probably, are they husband and wife? Did they get into a fight while they were on their walk? Or does he just always look like that? Like, is that his face? Like, just set to be, like, just, like, straight angry? I'll never know because they're just out taking a walk. But it really made me feel thankful that I'm not married and I only have to worry about my own shit. It's a little warm. But, um, but also, I love the sunset. I got that glow going on as if, like, I glow, but it's not. It's just the sun. Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> um, but no, seriously, like I, I don't, I was watching, um, this thing on YouTube and it was wired and they were having celebrities talk about gadgets and it was Nick Offerman. And I was like, I feel like there's something about Nick Offerman's voice. First of all, I think Nick, Nick Offerman is very, very attractive. And at first I thought I only thought Nick Offerman was attractive when he had that full beard. But then I decided, no, um, like when he's normal and not being the guy on Parks and Rec, then I find him very attractive. And there's something about his voice that makes me think that he would be able to put up with all of my shit, but then also like be able to calm me down, like to be like, look, you need to chill out. Look, you need to chill out everything's going to be fine. And then I would just be like, okay, whatever you say. Um, okay. That's not what I wanted to talk about, but that's just my little intro of nothing. What I wanted to talk about is that there are two shows that are on TV that you should be watching if you're a Top Chef fan. The first of them is called, um, Fast Foodies. And this has Kristen Kish, who I love, major girl crush on her. She's from Top Chef, obviously. Obviously, all three of these hosts are from Top Chef. Justin Sutherland, who I love. And then the other guy, why do I always forget what the hell his freaking name is? It's something Ford. And I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to insert it here. I love you, but I always forget what your name is. I love this show. It's so much fun. They take... Um, they bring celebrities on. Uh, my favorite is the episode with Ron Fuchs. Um, like they have a lot of comedians on there. They come on, they say this is their favorite fast food thing. And then the three have to recreate it. And then in the next round, and whoever comes closest wins that round. And then the next round, they chef it up and make a version of like that food, but like a chefy version of it. So um, it's so much fun. Um, it's on True TV, which, um, you know, has Impractical Jokers pretty much running all day and um, some other things, but they also have this show. And then I will tell you about the other show in a minute, but I'm going to um, do that from another location because I uh, don't want to roll down the window and sound like a weirdo if people are walking by. Like, at least if I'm doing this, I kind of look like I could be like talking to somebody on the phone, maybe, except that I'm holding it like this as opposed to holding it up the way you would talk on the phone. Fuck, dude. I don't know whatever. I mean, does it really matter? People think I'm weird. What do I care? I'm never going to see him again. Anyway. Okay. I'll be back. Jeremy Ford. It's Jeremy Ford. My God. I always want to say Ben Ford, who I think is... I'm going to correct myself if I'm wrong, but I believe Ben Ford is a chef who is Harrison Ford's son, who I actually like saw at a food festival and ate his food. And I don't remember what he made. This was years ago, but I do remember it was delicious. Anyway, um, so the other show that you need to be watching is Tournament of Champions. This is hosted by Guy Fieri. Now, I think there are a lot of people who watch Top Chef that go like, I can't watch Top Chef, which is like a, like a high quality thing food competition program and then also like somebody like Guy Fieri I'm here to tell you that I think you can first of all Guy Fieri seems like a really 
nice man in that he does like lots of charity work and things like that which is great his show guys grocery games is like one of my food, favorite food shows like of all time it is like so much freaking fun um diners drive-ins and dives is always fun i did not watch that show where he was like trying to get people the keys to one of his chicken restaurants hello hello is it still running is it still going <laughs> I'm so stupid. Anyway, um, and if I were to be like, oh, who's a great chef whose food I want to eat? Like, Guy would not necessarily be on my list as far as, like, one of his restaurants. But then he he does, like, on Guy's Groceries games, he'll be, like, making food and stuff and it'll look really good. But the point is, on Tournament of Champions, if you go and look at the list of the people who are competing on Tournament of Champions, there are so many top chef alumni that are competing. Like... Um, the episode that I just watched last night had um, Shirley Chung and M Marcel Vigneron and um, uh, there's tons of people like uh, what's her name? Um, oh my god i just blanked on it the year before she won and she's you guys oh my god i just blanked on her name oh, how rude anyway go look at the list of the people that are competing it's a really fun show they have legit ass judges like tracy j tracy j day oh my god i'm stroking out tracy day jardin <laughs> stroking um she her eric repair um uh like they have like eric repair was one of the judges on this episode last night like they'd be ringing some legit people jonathan waxman he is always like guesting on uh guys grocery games judging and stuff and he's like it's legit and they'd be throwing out some legit like food and there's a ton of people on there anyway it's like it goes on for so many weeks it's a tournament like it says in the name um and they you know how they do it is it's like there's a ranking like you're you know like how you would play a tournament like the number eight seed goes against the number one seed and then the winner of that goes on to this and this and this until you get somebody at the end and the the thing is what they have to cook is based on a randomizer so they spin this wheel and it comes up with the protein you have to use a veg you have to use a kitchen machine that you have to use how much time and then some element like spicy or crunchy or something like that so um it's a lot of fun again if you watch top if you're a big top chef fan i guarantee you will enjoy both of these shows both both are running right now um you i don't know where fast foodies is in its season but tournament of champions is probably on episode four by now so if you have like an on demand you can go back and catch the beginning to get caught up um and i hope you'll check them out and thanks for watching and sorry that i started with such a random intro but you know when i see stuff i have to like you know just blurt it out and talk about it because i'm an idiot like that so anyway as usual thanks for listening